had had to record this quick video. Um, yeah, it's down or something, or no, like the entire internet's down for some reason. Uh, for a bunch of major websites, so I'm like, okay, I'll play a franchise game. And I was losing, I think it was seven or sixteen to two. They tacked on the extra point, make seventeen. Like I rage quit after a Legarrette Blunt right here ran for a 69 yard touchdown run after I couldn't get anything after a safety punt. Uh, score touchdown, end of the half, Corey Coleman. Uh, to make it, you know, 17-9, I get the ball at half, obviously ended up losing really badly. You know, look at our blunt ran for a 92 yard touchdown and a 69 yard touchdown. And Majola got a 63 yard touchdown. All their touchdowns were <laughs> over 50 yards. Holy shit. Yep, and Devin McCord returned to fumble, 81 yards. I was like one for five in the red zone. Look at these player stats. Cody Kessler passed 68 times for 530 yards. The second most all time. Matt Schaub and Warren Moon, 527. They're at two. Boom, you're bumped down. You guys are tied at three. My, bo my boy Cody Kessler is second all time to only Norm Van Brocklin in 1951. Threw for 554 yards against the New York Yanks. Okay, most passing yards ever in the Super Bowl era. Um, yeah, Brady only threw 21 passes, like 221 yards. Ah, uh, just beautiful day, you know. Two touchdowns, one interception. We go to team stats. Where is it? Where's red zone efficiency? We we're in the red zone five times. Okay, interception, touchdown. I mean, not in this order. Interception, touchdown, turnover on downs, turnover on downs, 90-something yard fumble return by Devin McCourty. That's how you go one for five. New England wasn't even in the red zone, and they put up 38 points. Had the ball 16 minutes, of course, out of 24, I think. I don't know. Oh, 28, maybe? I don't know how many quarters I'm doing, how long my quarters are. 87.2 rating. Not, not really good at all. It's like average. For 530 yards. Ah, oh, that's just longest pass, 41 yards. I think that was at the very end of the game. 7-7 attempt, which isn't even awful, but not good rushing. Obviously, Legarrette Blunt had a monster day. 16 for 21. Duke Johnson. I only ran the ball six times. Technically seven, maybe. So he got a sack or something. Fumbled it. Fumbled on a sack. Brady also fumbled it, and then they recovered it, of course. So maybe that, 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 that's a sack, the one for seven, the one for negative one. See if it, look at this. Look at this. Three 100-yard receivers, then 68 yards, 87 yards. Gordon Coleman. Gordon scored a last-second 41-yard touchdown. Duke Johnson also had like a 41-yard screen play. Look at that. <laughs> Even Telfer had one catch 20 yards. Barnage got injured. You know? That probably would have helped me. Defensive, obviously nothing happening there. You know, nothing else, but... Yeah, so the Patriots beat my ass. Threw for 530 yards. And... Honestly, those two of those were garbage time scores. Patriots the last touchdown. So you really could call this 31-9. to nine. Anyway, still got beat by 22 points, even though I threw for 530 yards. Thought that was interesting. It's not. That's just what I think. Tom Brady threw for 500 yards, right? Yeah, that game doesn't really count. He had a 99-yard touchdown. It's the Bills last year. Holy shit. That's high up there.